The intern exit tool is a great tool uh, for push and pull and, and understanding how your material is going to move through your design, uh, which is a, is a good part of pathing and figuring out what you're doing with your complex fills and creating travel stitches with your column tools. But as, a, as an editing tool, you can also use it on existing wireframe designs to automatically resequence um, elements within that design. Let's look at Earth Day and figure out a way to use this tool in a way that may not be um, something you would think of. So I'm just going to open earthday.ofm. That's one of the ones that's loaded with your software. I'm going to open that up. And now let's take a look at this sun. So the sun does the middle piece, and then it trims, and it does a ray, and then it trims, does another ray. Trim, ray, trim. I'm seeing a bit of a pattern. Um, and it's a pattern I don't particularly care for. Um, if I can get away without a trim, oftentimes I will. Now that, that you may hear me change my tune a little bit when I start talking about um, the push of materials and doing things a little less efficiently um, so that things line up. But in this case, I'm not dealing with anything that has a lot of outlines, any sort of deep registration that we need to be careful with. Um, we're just dealing with rays on the sun, and I think that we could sew those rays first and travel underneath of them. Uh, pardon me. Sew the rays first, travel underneath the middle part of the sun, and eliminate all the trims altogether, which will save you a lot of time on the sew out. And um, Let's use, instead of doing it manually, um, let's use the entry and exit tool to do that. All right, so I am just going to grab all of the yellow because it's the only thing in the design um, that is the sun. The sun, all of it is the yellow. It's got all those pieces. I'm going to grab my entry and exit tool. And I'm going to say, I want it to start here. So I'm going to left click. And then I'm just going to say, I want to end here, meh, here. So I'm gonna left click again. So I just said, start here, I want you to end here, and it resequenced my whole piece so that it's sewing that ray first, and then it travels, so it generated all new travel stitches for me. That ray, travel, that ray, travel, that ray, that ray, that ray. So it's going around the design, and then it sews the middle, and it's covering all of those travel stitches. I just eliminated a ton of trims. I saved myself a lot of sew time, and uh, the potential for a misstart, I'm, I'm alleviating that, and I did that all with the entry and exit tool. So entry and exit will allow you to quickly resequence multiple elements. So you grab whatever you want to resequence and then you click on the entry and exit tool. You say, I want to start here, click. I want to end here, click. And it will resequence in that whole project for you. You'll see all of that resequence automatically for you. So just another kind of quick, neat tool um, or use for a, a tool that already exists. And that's that entry and exit tool.